We have seen the changes because of machine learning in finance, but how much faster could these changes occur and what's driving this wave of, of, of change? Well, what is driving is data. Uh, today we have data sets that were not available two or three years ago, and the only way to model these data sets is utilizing these complex techniques. So, for example, when you say data, how is this different from, say, 10 years ago to just a few years ago, and how fast has the change been? Yeah, so a few years ago, we didn't have data from satellite images, credit card transactions, engineering data, data that comes from exploration and production, or even data that comes from uh, narratives, reading stories, uh, extracting sentiment from uh, news articles. So these data sets didn't exist before, and today they exist, and they are able to that we can extract information that is valuable for making investment decisions. Marcus, I wonder if this is a zero-sum game. If the robots and the machine learning wins, then the high-paying finance jobs lose, or if there is a way to retrain some of these employees. There is definitely a way to retrain these employees. The reality is that as a matter of productivity gains, not all of them will be able to retain their jobs, but in many cases we can retrain these individuals so that they, these algorithms augment their capabilities. They don't need to be, their jobs to be completely automated, but these algorithms can assist to help them make better investment decisions. And how vulnerable is the finance industry to, say, crowdsourcing to engineers in other fields? And what could it do, say, to the hedge fund industry, for example? That's right. So tournaments is a particular case where we can uh, crowdsource uh, the forecasting of, of uh, prices um, on all sorts of asset classes to the data science community. This is a job that so far has been done by a, a very narrow set of individuals within hedge funds, but now you can turn this information to the entire data set community. People working at NASA, at, at uh, national labs, working at pharmaceutical companies, and they can use their expertise to um, forecast these returns and turn these decisions into investment products.